Hi, my name is Nick. I work with the Dixon Company, and today we're going to talk a little bit about chart recorders. Chart recorders record a variable, and in Dixon's case, we focus on temperature, humidity, or pressure directly onto a paper chart, which documents that variable over time. We have four main sizes, anything from a 3-inch small compact chart recorder all the way up to an 8-inch um, chart recorder. Chart recorders record information using a sensor. So in this case, we have an external sensor, um, which records both temperature and humidity, and it transmits the data through a circuit board onto the pens which mark on the chart. We also use mechanical chart recorders. These use a bimetal, and as the temperature changes, um, it either expands and contracts that metal, which is attached to the pen, which marks on the chart itself. A completed chart would look like something like this. And uh, this would show you your temperature information over time. You can keep these charts in a manila folder or in an envelope. And when an auditor comes or your quality department wanted to see what the temperature, humidity, or pressure was at a given time, you can just pull it out um, and point and show them that the, the red line was still in your, in your um, acceptable range. Um, not only do we do the temperature and humidity, but we also do pressure. These pressure chart recorders connect to a pipe with a quarter inch MPT fitting. And just like the other ones, they do record directly onto the chart. We have three main recording periods for chart recorders. Seven days, um, which records for a full week. Uh, 24 hours, which records for uh, one day. Or 31 days, which is a month recording period. And that's how often you're actually changing the chart. To find out more information on our chart recorders, you can go to our website, www.dixondata.com, or you can give us a call. Uh, where our friendly uh, group of customer service reps are more than knowledgeable about the different applications to use chart recorders in and can help pick uh, the right model for your application. Thanks again for watching.